My name is Ojo Isaac. I am the manager of Presta Royal Concept. Presta Royal Concept is an accounting software company located in Ikeja, Lagos. If this is your first time of coming to my channel, please click on the subscription button so that you will continue to receive professional and educative videos from us. Let us continue with our training videos. This video will teach you how to set up customers. Before start, before you start to post any transaction in C50, you have to set up the chart of account, which we have done. You have to also know how to set up the customers. In fact, you're supposed to have a list of all the ledgers to be created. Like from this Ebony conglomerate ledger, we have the charts of account, all these charts of accounts here that we are going to create. After you have finished creating all of them, all to the expenses, the next one is uh, customers. From the list you have here, you have customers. You have five different customers. So you need to know how to set up the customers because these are the customers that you are going to be dealing with from time to time in your business. So you need to set up. You know how to set it up. You click on maintain menu, select customers slash prospects. When you select customer prospects, the window will display. From the window, you'll be able to fill in the customer ID boss. You also fill in the customer's name. Then also fill in the address and also city and other information. From our case study, let's look at our case study again. From our case study, we have the following information. Number one here is uh, Ade Computers Limited. The ID, the account ID is what? Um, AC, uh, AC, uh, so, and then we have uh, the customer type and also the address uh, information. So what you do is to simply get this information down before you begin to uh, set up anything in your Sage 50. So what you do now is to begin to enter the, the data one by one. So let's set up the account ID. What is the account ID? It's a unique number. Account ID is unique number that you allocate to your customers and even to your vendors when you start to treat vendors. This is here stand for what? Uh, it stands for ADE computers. So which you will uh, enter in the name box. After you have done so, the next thing is for you to go to the address box, the billing address. Let's check the billing address. The billing address is uh, 44 Allen Avenue. 44 Allen Avenue, Ikeja. So we can type it in here, 44 Allen Avenue, Ikeja, Lagos. So uh, we have to uh, type it properly. So what we do is to type it properly here. Ikeja will come here, come to the second bus, then Lagos, that is city, will come under city, so Lagos. After that, you uh, enter the country, which is Nigeria, then press the top key for it to reflect. So, customer type is Dexter top, desktop. Okay, so you can type it in full, it may not be able to contain it, then if it's able to contain it, fine. But if it's not unable to contain it, you say, you update it and say, uh, desktop supplier, you can see mine, you couldn't uh, contain it. So let me do some adjustment so that at least I can have uh, three words from supply. So desktop customer. Then again, I go to the telephone, enter the telephone number 080 Enter So if I have the second telephone number, 
I can also enter it there. If I have an uh, email, the email of this particular customer, if I have it, I put it there. A day computer. I put it there. Computer at gmail.com. Okay. I will enter the, the, the email there. We have the website. I can also enter it there. www. Are they really the are they computers? Computers.com. That is the uh, in that website. The website after I've entered this information, what I will do, I will click on save and new. Save and new is what we use here and not save. So that the data you have here, your seat will be independent of its own. So that is how to set up a customer.